So, The Little Mermaid teaser trailer has been released already. The white people who are racist and the black conservatives that want to fit in with the white races are making a lot of noise about this. But that's not the worst part. The worst part about it is, is that you have a person who pretty much digitally replaced the Little Mermaid with a white actress. And now Disney is going to basically file a lawsuit against them. And I love every bit of it. So let's get into it, shall we? Hello, everyone. It's your girl, Miss Anne Yes, I am back. Like I said, I would. So, I saw the Disney teaser trailer for The Little Mermaid. And it's on my actual entertainment review channel if you want to take a listen to it. I did post the link of it on my community page on the Miss Anne Little Court TV and Experience podcast channel. I did that. And... I really want people to listen to it to understand, like, even though there was some criticism here and there, this movie is extremely promising. And I think it's going to shatter box office receipts. And the white racists are angry about this. And this is why I say we got to really go out there and support and show and prove that we really want to see movies like this. So according to this website called Above the Law, in-house counsel has written this article about racist plans to digitally replace Little Mermaid with white actress. Disney will plan to sue them into oblivion. On the one hand, don't do this. On the other hand, I like watching bad people suffer the consequences of their own actions by Joe Patrice. From the moment Disney announced that Halle Bailey would star in a live action remake of The Little Mermaid, racists have been Bitterly complain, racists have bitterly complained that a black girl might play a fictional magic fish person on film because, of course, they have. There are good reasons to be mad at this film. Another in a series of unnecessary and, by definition, unoriginal remakes about the virtues of a woman giving up her family and the very core of her being in order to land a man. But casting isn't one of them. Alas. They want to be where they want to be where the white people are, and they found an answer to their woes. Now, this man named Jesse Moriarty Earhart tweeted, "Credits to our mem- memer, artificial intelligence sciences at ten gazillion IQ. He fixed the Little Mermaid and turned the woke actor into a ginger white girl. He says he can do the whole movie." When it comes out with four by a six thousand in twenty four hours, it's over for woke cells. Haha! <laughs> Multiple folks on Twitter immediately focus on the post of boiling down woke, just to just be a synonym for black. A rare moment of pure honesty about what these folks really mean when they complain about it. Sadly, my brain is permanently fried by years of legal practice. So my takeaway was this. Obviously, the least of the issues here. But I feel like Disney's lawyers will have issues with someone selling knockoffs of their film. Yeah, they're going to boot like that. You know, the lawyers who so zealously guard the company's intellectual property, they pretty much single-handedly broke the whole copyright regime to suit their own interests. And who's historically run the court against companies marketing altered versions of their films? Those folks. You want thingamaboobs? They've got 20. And in the sentence, thingamaboobs are causes of actions for copyright and trademark infringement. Even these live action remakes that no one asks for seem like a Hail Mary legal play to set up some backdoor claim. That they substantially similar similar script that that the substantially similar scripts 
use in a new movie, which gets a new copyright, might give them some limited leverage against future creators trying to work with the original story when it enters the public domain. It's hard to shake the feelings that this is all part of a fair-flung future brief that says, we grant that Dumbo, the 1941 film, is public domain. But when the defendant's work features this scene, it's actually infringing our 2019 version of Dumbo. This shouldn't work and would make a mockery of the whole purpose being kept copyright protection limited. But can't fault them if they try. Anyway, by all means, try to sell a digitally altered version of a Disney movie and see what happens. They may just send a Chip and Dale after Overseas Pirates. But trying to take the exact same movie, edit it for the benefit of the most insecure bigots on the planet, and then sell it back? Disney will undoubtedly be watching the boards and waiting to bring the real legal power, firepower for that one. And so it reads, Joe Patrice is a senior editor at Above the Law and co-host of Thinking Like a Lawyer. Feel free to email any tips, questions, or comments. Follow him on Twitter if you're interested in law, politics, and a healthy dose of college sports news. Joe also serves as managing director of RPN Executive Search. This was a great article. But it shows you the nervousness, the panicking of the extreme rights. And I've been saying woke is just a synonym for black. So when you hear Ron DeSantis say, say no to wokeism, he's really talking about saying no to black inclusivity, saying no to studying black history, African American history in school. Critical race theory is just like cold speech because critical race theory is only taught in college. It's not taught in elementary schools. It's not taught in junior high schools. It's not even taught in high schools. A college course that's really taught on a graduate level or senior 300, 400 course level work. This is why I said you got to really think about what's really going on here. They're willing to go to jail because piracy, you will go to jail. This dummy, Jesse Moriarty Earnhardt, he just basically snitched out on 10 gazillion IQ. Now they're going to watch him. They're going to watch both of them. But y'all were so happy that, yeah, we turned the black girl into an a, a artificial, we turned her into a ginger, a ginger white girl. She don't even exist. She's not real. But y'all so can't stand to see a black woman play the Little Mermaid. Because you want to know what it really is. See, y'all want to fantasize and jerk off on the AI. But y'all can't fantasize and do anything with Halle Bailey. Because then y'all admit, oh, I may like black women. But y'all want to do nasty things and fantasy in your minds with this AI. Because, see, here's the thing with the AI. As opposed to Halle Bailey. Halle Bailey looks like she the, the movie is geared for, for children. So AI, you know, white ginger girl, ginger white girl, because that's what they called her. She looks like she's selling sex. Halle Bailey isn't. It's safe for the kids. That tells you where their minds are right then and there. They don't find her attractive. They wanted to not just white her up, but they wanted to sexify her up. So I'm loving this and I will be following the story because guess what? We got eight more months until The Little Mermaid is released on May the 6th, 2023. And let me tell you something. I hope they go to jail. And with that being said, I'm signing out. Thank you for listening. Please comment, share, and like. Hit the notification bell and actually subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back soon. Later.